you just saw, I am a master of disguise. <laughs> Wonderful there. You know uh, that supply teacher that you all made cry? That was me. <laughs> you know the smell of other families' houses when you're little? <laughs> that was me. <laughs> you know the first time you see your dad's willy when he comes out of the shower and it's all brown? <laughs> that was me. <laughs> And now for my greatest disguise yet. One of them people what's off the telly. Oh, and what is this we have here? Oh, it seems to be my old school report. Won't sit still, it says. Hasn't got the right PE key, it says. Kicks girls, it says. Well, where are they now? Now that I've got my own girl-kicking TV show. Hmm? <laughs> and what a show we have for you tonight. We've got um, an audience, wonderful audience, I should mention, because it's fascinating. They were all discarded from Hieronymus Bosch's imagination for being too disgusting, apparently. <laughs> We've got um, a giant with rips for arms. He's causing a lot of bother up the back, <laughs> lashing around, gobbling popcorn. There's a woman over there. She's followed everywhere by a giant hornet that's really sarcastic towards her. <laughs> um, my favourite, though, is we got a gingerbread man with real tits. <laughs> and a real man with little gingerbread tits. <laughs> they just met tonight for the first time and they're getting on really well. It's lovely, lovely to see it. Bless them. I have a problem with um, my lawn. Um, what it is, is like uh, this like little piles of dirt on it, like and every day when I go there there's sort of more... Worm casts. Worm casts? Yeah. Really? Because they'd have to be very big worms, because they're sort of like maybe the size of, I don't know, sort of like a, a man's hat. Well, it sounds, sort of... like, it sounds like moles. Sorry? Moles. <laughs> yeah. Moles. It sounds like moles. Yeah, no, I know. I, I, tried, to, I tried to cover them up, but... No, it's... no, 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 no. I'm talking about your, your coming from your soil. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought yeah, it was because yeah, I've got no, no, moles no, on my no, face. No, no, it's moles coming up through your lawn. Moles. I've got moles. I've got moles. Go. Just three. Oh, upside down. OK. I have to show that to the camera. What is oh. that card, Jacqueline? The Five of Swords. OK, what, what does that mean? Well, I would say that Angelica has been struggling to retain her sense of self lately, trying to rebuild yourself. She's struggling to retain mm. her sense of self. <laughs> Bloody hell. OK. <laughs> <laughs> could all go on fire. Madness could happen. <laughs> Let's have a look at my first card before we move on, Jacqueline. <laughs> right, OK, it's Mr Doe, the baker. <laughs> <laughs> now, a lot of people, when they see Mr Doe, they are very scared because they think it means death. It don't mean literally death, it just means change or perhaps a terminal disease, maybe. <laughs> so don't worry too much about that. Um, go on, Jacqueline, you do your second card. This shows someone who's trying to build business or, or could imply self-employment. OK, so if you've been thinking about going into business, that could be a good one for you. Mm -hmm. Going into business? OK. Mm. Let's have a look at my one. <laughs> Oh, God, it's the Amarid Shark. <laughs> <laughs> right. The Amarid Shark. This means that probably a pencil case that you may have lost as a child, or perhaps some of them rubbers that smell of different things, vanilla, chocolate, different scented rubbers, you're going to find them again soon. <laughs> so that's a stroke of luck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 